Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Nate Anime, and welcome back to my channel. So I got some more Need for Speed Unbound gameplay for you guys today, but this video is going to be different from the last gameplay video. This gameplay video will be taking place in the online mode. So apparently the story mode and the online mode are two separate things kind of similar to Grand Theft Auto how they have the story mode and then you can go on to the online mode and I think you still have to make a whole entire separate character from the one that you have in story mode which by the way I believe they are the same exact characters that you get when you first start up the story mode so I don't know where um EA or Criterion is taking this online mode but it's very very interesting and on top of that there are no cops in the online mode at launch I am going to assume later on down the line they're going to be adding cops into the game how soon will that be we don't know exactly but they did say that there aren't any cops at launch so this does make me think that they probably have plans on adding cops in online, but just not right now. Just making sure, I guess, that the game is working. And I guess that's the best thing for this game right now. So let's hop into the online mode. Again, here we are at the character customization screen again. So, uh, everything that I did on the story mode just now does not carry over to the online mode, I believe. Um, I think for right now, actually, I'm going to choose the same girl that I have on the story mode yeah let's see Ooh. all right so okay so this is interesting uh this is like a whole different game so in the story mode we got like three cars that we start off with in the story mode and apparently we're doing the same exact thing for the online mode very interesting I'm very interested to see where this online mode goes um if there's some type of like story behind it or something uh so yeah right from the start we have the nissan gtr v-spec 1993 r32 um we got the volkswagen golf gti club sports 2016 and last but not least the mercedes amg g63 2017 so which vehicle am i going to go for obviously the r32 because i can't see me driving a volkswagen and i definitely can't see me driving a g-wagon and here we are in the garage interestingly enough Press huh. the cross button to go to the so lobby. how exactly does this work? Alright, let's see here. Let's look at our rides here. So, so far we're starting off with the R32 as our starter car. This is our character. What is banners? Um, edit banners. Make a snapshot. So what? Um, so wait, can we like take a picture of like our character? Maybe? That's what this is? Um, and then edit snapshot. Oh! Okay. I wonder what this is going to be used for though. I'm not going to bother making it right now, but it does just make me kind of curious, like, what that actually does. Um, so yeah, let's, um, I guess let's go in. Uh, invite to party challenges. Is there a free mode we can just go to? I guess, I guess it'll just find us a game. Alright, yeah, it's finding us a game right now. Alright, so here is the online mode, and there is a lot of players in here. Um, I believe there are only 16 players in each lobby. Um, again, like I said, there are no cops in this game. So, I am very curious to know how exactly the racing works in this game. And it has spawned me out in the countryside in a part of the map I have not explored yet, at least within the story mode. Now, we're starting off in a B tier car with zero money, and I'm going to say that little yellow strip up there is the rank. So, we basically have nothing. We're starting in the server with nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. No cops, no money, no higher tier car, nothing. So, I am very curious to see how this is going to work out. At least there's races actually going on in the online lobby. Unlike Payback where there was just nothing going on. And let's see if anybody will join. 
Are these like playlists? I wonder, is this gonna like give us like, you know, AI racers to race against or? So how exactly do you race in here? Like, I guess what, there are other ways of winning money here or something? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, ooh, there's a new race. There's a new race. How do you join it? How do you join? I guess I have to be out. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Ah, oh, but I need an S-Class car. So how's that work? I have to like... I guess, you know, just hope that someone joins my race, which is very, um... Need for Speed Heat-ish. And I was not a fan of that. Where I had to like, you know, hope someone joined the race that I started. Um, and right now I'm getting thrown into a loner vehicle. Which does kind of suck. And it's a spider. Huracan. Which, I guess it won't be that bad. At least it's a Huracan. Oh, we're starting. So I guess, um, just gotta start from here. And just pray to God that someone wants to race me. I am in a cross-play mode, so... Hopefully, the amount of people that, you know, are in my lobby are enough. Alright. This is pretty... This is pretty clean. Actually, in all honesty, <laughs> the way we're driving right now, it kind of feels like I'm playing Hot Pursuit. It's like a freaking Lamborghini Spider, and in this nice long road and these nice sunny skies, it really does make it feel like I'm playing... Wait, 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 turn! Turn! Why aren't you turning? Yeah, I've never driven this car before, but for some reason it did not give me any grip whatsoever. It just completely drove me off the map. And right now I'm not doing so well against these guys. Obviously they probably know the track a little bit better than I do. I'm in fifth place right now. Um, definitely not getting any money from this. Or at least not any... Ooh. At least not getting any good amount of money. Yeah, so... Yeah, I don't know. This is a good thing. First race in online mode, and I'm starting off in fifth place. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, but it's just one race. Oh, so it is like a playlist. Oh, okay, so basically you're like starting, instead of just starting one single race, you're starting a playlist. Oh, okay. But I still gotta use these loner cars though. Alright, I'm getting the hang of it just a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to um, second or first place unless one of those two decides to mess up terribly. Okay, so I did miss a checkpoint, but I like how it reset me extremely quick. Older Need for Speed games would have never done that. They would have had me on a, like a five minute crash can, almost like shaming me for crashing in their game which had horrible, horrible physics. I will admit, I am finishing in a much better position. Third place, I'd rather take third place than fifth place. Whoa, there is an actual moving train! What? Yo, that is wild! I didn't know there was an actual train in this game. I thought it was just the subway cars. What? Well, I just learned something new today. Alright, that was actually pretty wild. Despite me driving a loner car, I have to admit, that was actually pretty exciting. It actually felt very on the edge. And the train, again, the train just coming out of nowhere. Did not know there was a regular, everyday Forza-style train in the map. I thought it was just the subway cars in the city, but... Yeah, apparently you gotta race against trains in this game now too. Or freight trains, I should say. So uh yeah, so far. Online mode is actually pretty lit. Let's see if I can get that. Ooh. Couldn't get that launch. I am trying every single tactic. And I am just not catching up. One thing I did notice, and I think this was actually talked about by uh various communities in the Need for Speed community that Drifting in this game now uh, will actually slow your car down. So, 
like drifting through corners, you'll no longer be like keep maintaining like high amounts of speed when drifting. Which is probably one of the reasons why I wasn't gaining while drifting, but they were also drifting as well, so yeah. Yeah, it looks like I didn't make the top three, which which kind of sucks. But, you know, again, like I said, that wasn't bad. That was actually a really fun game mode. This is, I mean, like, Need for Speed Payback was pretty bare bones, and this is also kind of bare bones as well, but still. Like, this is actually pretty cool. I mean, yes, I know, I know there aren't any cops in the game, and I know a lot of people are having a gripe about that, but with as much fun as I just had in this race alone, and there were no cops involved, it was actually pretty fun. Alright, let's see here. Now available BMW i8 Roadster. Alright, so I guess we unlocked a car. Um, which, you know, makes me wonder, how do you buy cars in this game? Okay, okay. Buy and sell. I haven't actually seen the car list. Well, let's look through here. I know they added the RX-8 in here somewhere. I wonder how much that one goes for. And I also wonder if the prices are sort of the same on story mode and online mode. Um, I don't see it anywhere. RX-8. Oh, there we go. RX-8. Look at that. It's been a long time since we've had the RX-8 in the game. Or in the Need for Speed game, so it's really nice to see this car. Oh, right, 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 and we get the new Nissan Z prototype. This thing is sick. How much I need? A hundred thousand for that? And then we got the Lamborghini Urus, which is a very interesting vehicle. I guess they decided to add this car in, or this vehicle in, to, uh, you know, kind of widen the SUV class, because there's only, like, maybe, like, three or four SUVs in this game. And then we got the brand new Lamborghini Countach, which is definitely a car that everyone right now is trying to get. It's a very nice car. Um, let's see what else we got here. And then to round out the end, we got Bugatti Chiron. And then we have the Palace Edition cars, I believe. Yeah, ooh, 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 ooh. And we got the BMW. Yo, this is nice. Oh, this is so nice. Wait, aren't I supposed to actually uh, get this vehicle for free or something? Or maybe I haven't I haven't really finished pre-ordering the game quite yet. <laughs> I'm just sitting here using the time trial that's given to me. But yeah, I think if I uh, finish pre-ordering the game, I get that car like for free starting off. Wait, maybe I have it. Oh, I do have it. Okay. Okay, yes. Yes, I do actually have the M3. If that's the case, I might actually trash the uh the good old r32 which honestly i'm not gonna trash it but um i'm gonna give it a rest ooh, 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 they're starting up another race so yeah this is like the speed races in the game so basically very similar to um the pro street speed races where you just drive in a straight line for a very long time at a high rate of speed and um right now i'm not doing any of that, I'm actually lagging behind. Oh wow, there goes that train again. Yo, that is awesome, bro. That is really awesome. I thought I'd never see a day when we get like a actual, like, full-on freight train in Need for Speed. Alright, that was actually a pretty good race. Very, very intense. I like that. Oh my god, like, I gotta stay like real focused for these races, man. Like, they're just so intense. And I'm like draft boosting as much as I can trying to catch up to this guy. Or at least, at the most, try to catch, pass him. No! Well, I'm totally out of that one. Alright, wasn't a bad race. Um, unfortunately, I think I probably would have had at least third or fourth place. If I didn't crash right there at the end. Alright, one last race before I end this video with the Need for Speed Unbound multiplayer mode, which is pretty good. I'm very impressed. Very. Like, this is some really, 
Ooh, boy just took himself out. Ooh, and I almost took myself out too. What the fuck? Ooh, keep it clean through the toll booth here. Ooh, 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 this is insanity. This is insanity. And I got taken out too. Oh my god. Uh, now I've got to eat those words. Oh, this sucks. Uh, I could have kept second place. Ooh. Oh, boy is... Dang. Boy was on a mission. Oh, shoot. I think I'm low on health. This is definitely not an easy game to play at all. Like, this is really, really hard. Like, it feels very challenging. Leaf Speed Heat was not challenging. It was more of, you know, kind of slightly different, but more of the same. This is, in certain types of way, kind of that same thing, but at least they actually felt like they tried, you know, to do something different. And this feels very different. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stole fifth place from this dude. But yeah, like I said, it does feel a little bit more competitive and it feels a little bit more user friendly than me to be four seconds what before I DNF. No! Ooh, did I make it? Ah I DNF'd. But honestly though, this is um this is actually a pretty cool game mode. Multiplayer is actually pretty lit, but too bad I can't, you know, have both accounts, you know, together. Like they're both separate accounts, which is is weird. They're both separate modes. I can't like merge one money over to the other. So I do kind of hate that, but uh, I guess it is what it is. I assume with them splitting up the multiplayer like this, that they are probably planning on adding like new stuff to the multiplayer. Like I said before, you know, adding stuff like hops might be a thing later on. So who knows, but the multiplayer on here is actually pretty cool. Um, I think I'll do a video next time on the multiplayer and uh, try to customize this car as well as uh, do another video for the story mode and uh, get a little bit more deeper into that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me playing Need for Speed Unbound in the multi player mode which is a really cool mode if you plan on buying this game or have the early access i suggest you play it because this is awesome this is really really fun but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and i'll see you guys in my next video